Hi. Hi. I'm first about 12 years old, primary 6. I'm first 39 years old, primary 3. So right now here, we are still at similes in English rhetoric. But this time of similes, we do have a quiz for you. Okay. Are you excited for the quiz? Of course. Okay, so this quiz is about what we have learned before and may contain a little bit of others. But yeah, but you can mostly, guess its meaning from its context. But mostly it's all colors, right? Some of them are colors, some of them are taste. I know. Okay, some of them are feelings. Okay, so you want to start this quiz now? Yes. Let me just briefly tell you what are the parts of the quiz and you will put that down. So, the first part of the quiz will be filled in the blanks. Okay. The second part where well, we can choose from meanings or synonyms or antonyms. All these. So, the instructions are actually given in the name of this, fill in the blanks, so you just need to fill in. Meanings, you find its corresponding meaning. Synonyms, well, you just find synonyms and antonyms. They're all the same. You understand? Yes. So starting with the first one, he is as brown as Mary after being in the sun for a long time. Can you explain? Long, long Can you explain why did you choose as brown as Mary? Because that you know that you'll get tan, right? Yes. Because why? Tan without brown. sunscreen. But it's so please don't say black because that you This is our common usage, right? Anyway, if you like go under brown, okay? Anyway, most of the time when you go under the sun you won't want to go there and become black. Well most of the time it won't, right? Yeah. Or well, it just becomes a very deep shade of brown. Yeah. Okay, so that is the correct answer for the first too. part. As brown as a berry. Next part. So actually, some of these sentences, for example, this answer is in front, right? Mm -hmm. You need to read the whole sentence before you can choose. So you actually have read the whole sentence already, right? Yes. So second, after eating that chili, Harry has gone. Henry has gone as red as fire. But also can be others. Right. As red as fire. Okay, you can use this. As red as fire means that you have actually gone very red, right? Yep. So you have gone very red because you ate the chili. Yeah. Right? Yep. Okay, so this is also right. Next one. Be careful around him. His character is as black as ink. As black as ink, can you explain your choice? As black as ink means very bad. Okay, very evil, right? Yeah. We explained about this in the last lesson, am I yep. right? Yep. Jane is? As cold as a cucumber. Even during times of chaos. First, what is Just chaos? Just be aware, this is pronounced as chaos. Not chaos. So this chaos means times when things get messed up, things get messy. Yeah. Like, for example, in times of flood, people all rush out in yep. order to save their lives, right? Yep. So there you'll get chaos, right? Or maybe earthquake. Yes. The li this little cottage is as warm as wool. As warm as wool, which of the following would you use the most? As warm as wool, or as warm as toast, or as warm as Venus, or as warm as whatever? As warm as toast. Okay, you are usually warm as, use as warm as toast. This is a uh, right, well, just like we like to use toast. So this little cottage is as warm as toast. I feel warm even during winter. So but it's like they're the... just crowded together and you can even feel other cottages or other those small huts by yeah. place, right? Yep. Okay, so I think right now here you can reach already. The ghost pepper is, oh, is as hot as... What 
with it. So that means this is definitely something spicy, right? But you cannot say it's as hot as gold pepper. Okay, yes, correct. Because you don't use one thing to describe itself. You cannot say ghost pepper is as hot as ghost pepper. Yeah. So what should we use as hot? Why do you need a capitalized H? Um, uh, nope. Nope. That's why it does. Help. Okay, okay, but don't add the O. And then it become hello. Okay, let me just write this part a little bit clearer. Okay, you put this edge together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, as hot as hell. Well, that is also right because, yeah, we just like you use these things that feel spicy, we can use the word hot. Okay, correct. So, so far, for these parts are all right. Okay, now, would you want me to first do this, this, or this? It's your choice, okay? Okay. This is your quiz. Well, would you like me to think for this? Okay. Okay, so which one would you want? This. Okay. So you want to go from right all the way to the left? Okay. Okay. You can start. Synonyms. So you find a corresponding synonym, right? Let's look at the front one. So this one looks a little bit simpler, right? Yeah. As black as slow, as black as suit. Red as lobster, red as beetroot, white as sheet, white as it goes. Sweet as honey and sweet as jasmine. Okay, so this would be a simpler. So next part is for the meanings. Okay, wait, so you have, you have done meaning. these two parts, so let me just right now explain about these different means, okay? Okay. Black and slow. Well, slow. Black. Yes. Slow is actually just the hawthorn plant. Slow is just another name for that. Its berries are edible. Okay, as black as slow. As red as lobster. Red. Lobster. Lobster, some of you might say, at first you catch it, might be blue color, might be... Those different colors, right? But then, then after you cook, they will be red. Yeah, after you cook it, it will become red color. So, why as sheet? This sheet, well, you just use it. It's a paper. Okay, you can say, for example, sheet of paper. But this means white. Or yep. you're shocked. Right? What about as sweet as honey? There's a few meaning. Sweet as honey. It might actually taste sweet. It might be the person's character is nice. Yeah, any others? Sweet. Also might be when you hear it, it is very pleasant. Yes, can be a lot of them. Okay, so these synonyms will do have a similar meaning. Now the next one, okay, as far as it means take, please. Okay, so as black as ink means evil, green as glass means new, Although sometimes you see grass green, but it means new GG. The other that have as warm as Venus means warm, as clear as mud means unclear. Oh, okay. Although here say clear, but this is mud. Is mud clear? No. But okay, since you finish explaining that part, for those, if you don't get about these synonyms, so synonyms they have same meanings. Well, if you want me to just say out everything, well, I can. White as a ghost. White color, pale, shocked, all those, right? Then black as suit. 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 If you have a fireplace, after you blow out the fire, you raise your black powder, a black powdery substance there. But you might see that it ash, right? But those are suit, right? Okay. Then sweet as jasmine. Now jasmine is the white type of flower and when you smell it, it smells really nice, right? Yeah. Then you have all those types of like jasmine tea, jasmine drinks, all those. Yep. And they also taste nice, right? So that means this part, sweet as jasmine, it might smell nice. 
taste nice, character is nice, looks nice, right? Yeah. Bread is beetroot. Now beetroot. This is a vegetable. This is our vegetable. It's when red. Oh uh, yes, it is red. When you eat it, after that, your passings out, they'll all be red color. Yes, anyway, it, it's the root that is red, right? Well, you eat the part above the fibrous root. Yeah. Right? And oh, then which is a like a big, them. a big ball. A big red ball. Yeah. And well beet root, you're not gonna just call it beet. Yes, beet root other name is just beet. Okay. Excellent. So this just means either red or embarrassed or angry. That causes your face to turn red. Okay. But they're exhausted. All those different types. So right now, I guess you're on to antonyms, right? Wait, but before this, what are right here? Okay, roots, they're a paradox. A paradox. Now, this means, paradox, it means you write something. Now, that what you write is contradictory. So another name, paradox, can be contradictory. Right? For example, clear as mud, it says clear, but mud is not clear. So yes. it's unclear. Yes. Actually, there's a lot of paradox. For example, you say, I say, this sentence has a mistake. Well, actually, there are no mistakes. But you say, there is a mistake. That's sort of a paradox. But let me just tell you, this paradox, now we're learning rhetorics, right? Yep. Let me just tell you something. There is one type of rhetoric called oxymoron. Now, oxymoron, you know what I said? It is sort of a paradox, but it's just with phrases or even words. They are okay. opposite meanings, right? Like, uh, you can say one person is smart, but it is not smart. Not smart, what words can you use? Like stupid, right? Yeah. A smart, stupid person. Now this one type of oxymoron. <laughs> okay. A uh, tall, short, giraffe. That's a oxymoron. Oh, maybe it's like I is a tall but so got confused. <laughs> so these are oxymorons. So in the future of these rhetorics, we'll continue learning about these different types, including yes. oxymorons. Yes. Although it seems weird. Okay. So if you want to know more about these different types, just keep on watching this series of rhetorics. At the same time, let me have a mark this. I didn't know this one thing. Let me see. Black as ink. There are two lines. But how are there two lines? Well, it is because there are two meanings. Two meanings. Black as ink opposed white as snow. Because black as ink, black opposed white. We say black and white, they're opposites, right? Yeah. Black as ink, sweet as rose. Black as ink means cruel. Bad, evil. evil. And sweet as rose means nice. Sweet. Or sweet as jasmine, nice character, right? Yep. Cold as ice. Hot as an oven, yes, cold versus hot. Then clear as crystal, clear as mud. Yeah. Brown as berry. Brown as berry means like sun tan, right? Yep. But white as snow. Now you're saying about the skin texture, right? So basically, if you had noticed, if you got tan, it's brownish, right? And if you didn't get tan, it's whitish, still right? Yes. But maybe you might guess. So these. Are all correct. So these in different types, there are different meanings, different meanings, different antonyms, different synonyms, of course different usages, right? Yes. So do you like this quiz? Yeah. Well in the future, how we revise, we can go by more quizzes. Yeah. Perhaps. Okay. So are you all clear? Yes. So we'll end here. Next time we'll continue with more of these that I'm there. We're gonna have a quiz again. 
Okay. So, but, and here next time we'll continue. If you like our video, don't forget to we'll subscribe to our channel and click that like button. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching.